Hello again, YouTube. This is the truth, man. Giving you the truth. Let's talk about food. We don't never really get a chance to talk about food too often. So, I want to talk about what I know works and what I know causes problems because, you know, my weight has fluctuated mightily through the years. And I learned some things along the way. Now, let's start with foods that I know make you fat. Foods that I know make you fat. Too much bread. Too much cheese. Cheese especially. Cheese. And, it's, and, and I'll tell you something else. Sometimes cheese won't... If you... If you got like a... Like if you're not allergic to cheese, but yet it make you go to the bathroom, it might not be as bad if you cut out some of the other stuff that make you uh, gain weight. Like when you start adding candy and soda and energy drinks, well, not all energy drinks, some of them ain't even that many calories, but and energy drinks make you use the bathroom, so some of them not so much. But you start adding those sweets to that bread, and that stuff is gonna form uh, what is it, uh, cortisol, and it's also gonna form uh, it's gonna turn into fat when your body processes it. And not only that, but it's not gonna come out properly. So let's say, let's say you eating the wrong kind of meats. You eating candy and stuff, chips, potato chips, all that, all that stuff that turns into fat. Once your body uh, 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 produces it or whatever, you know what I'm saying. You gonna have flaps you gonna gain weight. You know, you should eat. But, and here's another thing I noticed, like, it was one week, I said, you know what, man? I ain't finna eat nothing sweet and I ain't gonna eat no bread. Just that week, I lost 10 pounds. Like, I was 262 uh, at the beginning of the week. And when I weighed myself at the end of the week, I was 252. Now, nothing works controlling weight like walking. Like if, let's say you doing like pizza delivery or newspaper delivery. When I, the times I had a paper route, that was the times I was the fittest. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. it, it'll disturb your sleep. But as far as physical, physically fit, I was fit. Like, especially the time when I had two paper routes. Like, uh, I, I, was on, I was on something too. You know, something that's kind of bad on sports. Man, I was fit. But it's like, like when you start getting older especially, you can't eat like you did when you was younger. You need to spread your meals out during the day and just kind of deny yourself. Like you have a certain day that you treat yourself, but spend most of the week denying yourself. So if you say, okay, two days a week, I'm gonna eat whatever. And the other five, I'm gonna try to eat mostly healthy. You'll control your weight, you'll control your blood sugar, you'll control everything, cause you gotta, I like I, if you saw my other video, I agree with Ocho Cinco that eating everything builds up like the, the, the tissue and the callus in the body. Brain, the brain matter, it makes your skull thicker. You can't just eat healthy. If you just eat healthy, you're going to get too skinny anyway. And there is a such thing as too skinny. Like, you know you're too skinny when you feel every little bump and bruise, all that. Yeah. 
you know you want to lift weights you want to walk you want to get on the treadmill like I, I remember when i was getting on the treadmill every day i was fit then too like like i'm, I'm trying to get back to where i was i would say about 10 months ago where i was i was literally 40 seven years old and I can start I was literally starting to see my abs and I got that paper out which gave me the endurance and the, you know but I stopped the weight training and all of that because I was working two jobs you know so you want to do some weight training like even push-ups you say well I can't do push-up start out with five just do five you say oh I can't do five do one and then do another one and then do it. I guarantee you by a week or two, you'll be able to do some push-ups. Your push-ups is gonna make you stronger. Like the whole, your whole upper body is gonna get stronger from doing push-ups. Walking up and down the stairs. You know, those things make you stronger. You don't, you don't gotta be Broly Gaines, man. Or the NDO, uh, the NDO guy. Just as long as you like maintain a nice level, you should be fine. So, <clears throat> you know, you want abs and all that stuff. You don't have to go to the extreme, but a lot of us don't have time. We have to work. We be having kids. We have stuff to do. We don't have time to be in the gym all day. So, what I would suggest, and I'm telling you what worked for me, like the times I was the most uh, muscular in shape, this, that, and the other, is I don't know about your body, but cut down on, on that bread. You know, eat just enough to get your grains out of it. Cut down on all them sweets, them chips, them crackers, them donuts, all that stuff. Cut down on that. Like like I told you, have a day. Like you say, okay, when I'm watching football, I'm eating what I want. Oh, that's fine. But don't do that all week. Don't do that all week. Because you say, well, some people like fat. Man, that's true. But some people don't carry it well. Some people become extremely lazy. It affects their mood. It just depends on who you are. If you could do the splits with that weight, and if your weight is, let me let me tell you what I here's. This ain't truth, man. This ain't truth. This is my opinion. As far as some things health wise, it could be true in some cases. And here's my opinion: There's nothing wrong with fat in a couple areas. One of them is up here. One of them is the butt. One of them is, you know, and thighs. You don't want to have all that weight on your feet. Because if you had all that weight in your feet, like if you got fat feet, it's going to affect your lungs. It's going to affect your breathing when you walk. It's gonna affect things, so certain stuff. If, if you still could, could flex and you a big girl, hey, that's, you know, don't lose your ability that your boyfriend or your husband gonna need you to keep from eating. What are you, are you stressed out or something? At least add some ways to it. Add, you know, have a day fast. And that's another thing I notice. Like when I, when I, when you fast, like from spiritual purposes, you want to have a reason. But if you fast for physical purposes, it's gonna keep you from gaining all that weight. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. You say, oh, I can't sleep my kids. Get them kids in line.
And matter of fact, every stay-at-home mom, if those kids don't want to sleep at night, you should be watching them. You should be 100% handling them. You don't need to sleep as much as he does if he's working. That's just, just, it's just selfishness and laziness. How is he waking up with the baby and he got to go to work and you stay at home? Some people just should be by themselves. But you get enough sleep, you do these things, I'm telling you, it'll help you. Because I'm going to tell you something. The way women is now, y'all hear us talking about this. Don't, don't make them a priority, man. Make your relationship with the Most High, your health, your finance, your finances, your your accolades, and your, your, your level of success, your priorities. You say, but I'm already married. Hey, man, if you got a good wife, you got a unicorn wife, you know, I wouldn't say make her a priority, but I would say she could be number four. You got a bad wife that don't want to be a wife that in her mind she's perfect, doesn't do no wrong, but yet she's always saying and doing the wrong thing. Definitely don't prioritize them. In fact, the longer you stay with them, you die in a slow death. Because if you're going to have a companionship, then you need to have companionship. That companionship doesn't happen with somebody who doesn't want you. Companionship happens with people that's into you. And sometimes that'll affect your physical health too. Like you know what you need to eat. They don't want to eat those things. See, it's that kind of stuff why the red pill is so strong on YouTube. You going left. You know you need to go left. This person, for whatever reason think they know more than you and trying to take you right you need to find somebody who's just gonna go left with you or go left by yourself because that'll make you fat too that'll make you I, and sometimes you could be skinny but be like um you can be skinny and be obese physically if you're not taking care of yourself, you know, stuff you should drink every day. Orange juice, apple juice, cranberry juice. Every day. Every day. Like, you say, but that's a lot of calories. Didn't do a half a cup, half a cup of orange juice, half a cup of cranberry juice, half a cup of apple juice. And drink water. See, that's what I need to do more. I need to drink water. I need to drink water more. Jog, stuff like that. It's, it's part of life. Some of you are spending all your time arguing with her. You making her like she's a god and she's proving to you every day with her attitude that she's not. Don't spend all your time arguing with these chicks. Be by yourself. Or with somebody who knows when to argue if an argument is even necessary. Not in her mind she wants somebody else. She wants to be a hoe. And she don't know how to go about it. So most of them try to make guys like they bad guys. So everybody that know them be like, oh, okay. When they start dotting. When they start. And, and, and it's crazy to some of the stuff these chicks do. It's women out there that won't even have a drunk drink with their husband. But they'll have a drink with a stranger, though. These things affect your weight, your physical health, and they are not worth it. Because like I told you on the last video, anything that there's a lot of, you don't need that one. Anything that there's a lot of, you don't need that one. How many car lots is it? And you act like you need that one car. They just keep giving you problems. And trade that joker in. Sell it. What's best for you? See? Oh, I got kids, so I'm, I'm get a van. Do you want a van? 
Well, I need a van. All these cars, you don't need no... You could get a truck with a third row. Stop using that word need. If you want a van for your kids, get the car you want and get the van. Who said you only can have one car? See, see this, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about when you be trying to marry these chicks. They always trying to tell us what to do. It's evil for a woman to tell a dude what to do and that's not bona fide truth the way to go. That's evil. That's Jezebel. Y'all know we're going to talk about all this stuff next week too. So we're going to have one more video today. And uh, that's going to be it. Then, of course, we do our Sunday sermon. But I just wanted to talk to you about food and stuff. Listen, I eat some stuff that I probably shouldn't. And I'm not cutting it out. Bacon double cheeseburgers. Yep. Oh, you you supposed to be a prophet. Listen, 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 listen. listen. Watch my videos. Man. Ain't nobody beat me in the, the dietary debate. You got that misconstrued. Ain't nobody beating me in the dietary debate. Noah got the commandments first. Nothing changed. The reason why they said those things about pork and all of that, because Jezebel and even before her ancestors, you know what they used to do is they were like mixed animals. That's one thing they used to do. But then the problem wasn't even necessarily always that they mixed the animals if they was two edible uh, creatures. The problem was that they were sacrificing them to idols. You know how we pray over our food? They was praying that God's just not God and then giving that food to other people. Because remember, any deity that's not really God, that's a demon or a fallen angel that created it. So that's what that's the main reason. The the what they told Noah is don't eat anything while it's alive with the blood in it. That was one of the things. So people got a lot of things misconstrued and that's one of the main problems with the world. But thanks for watching. The channel is the No Matrix, No Simping, All Subjects channel. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. If you don't like it, hit the dislike button. And my lips shining. That ain't white. Hit the dislike button. Because if you hit the dislike button, they still going to recommend it to people who hit the like button or people who hit the like button on similar video and watch the video in its entirety, even if you have to come back. See, this is what y'all do. Y'all don't watch these videos in its entirety. So the views don't always get counted. But then these women, y'all sure watch them. Listen, you ain't getting some of them, man. Some of them are married, this, that, and the other. You're not getting them, man. But thanks for watching. We'll see y'all on the last video for today.